Batman v Superman is a masterpiece. Fuck all stupid haters. You're clueless. Batman v Superman not only respected loads and loads of comic history and respected WB history on film, it also respected unused script history of Batman and Superman films. Like I said, there's so much stuff uh, that uh, comic-wise Batman v Superman goes into. It goes into... Uh, elements of Dark Knight Returns, elements of the Death of Superman story arc, <clears throat> so many um, elements of Flashpoint, elements of Injustice, and stuff. but not only, there's, there's a whole Screen Rant, art, Screen Rant article, but I said this way before them, uh, if I find it, I'll put the link, but right now I can't find it, they, it says exactly what I said, they also took stuff, like I said, WB, when they get scripts that they never use, they pay a lot of money for that. So they never just throw those scripts in the garbage. There were elements of the um, the Wolfgang Peterson Batman v Superman script they used. Like in the original one, Lex Luthor cloned Jack Nicholson's Joker back to life and had him in you know his body in a body bag and clone. And here they cloned uh, Doomsday from General Zod and brought him back to life. They took like I said they took elements from the Tim Burton uh, Kevin Smith. Death of Superman story arc, they put him in here. There was elements of Batman triumphant in here. So, and, and also respected Warner Brothers tradition. It, it did, it worked on all cylinders. It respected comic book tradition. So many stuff. It, it respected WB movie uh, tradition. I remember, that's what I hated about Nolan's piece of shit. The original Batman films felt like Warner Brothers films. They felt like DC comic films. And they felt like Batman and Superman films. Nolan shit, none of the above. I love the classic Warner Brothers films. They have that, even though Dick Tracy is a Disney film, it had that kind of Dick tracy type of comic book feel. That's exactly what Batman v Superman was like. So, it, to me, it worked on all cylinders. Stupid idiots that wanted Chris Nolan shit. Good luck with that. That shit is never coming back. Chris Nolan was pretentious shit and pretentious garbage. And the real DC fans never gave a fuck about that shit. So yes, like I said, it worked in respecting a whole bunch of different comic book storylines. It worked in respecting the Warner Brothers tradition of classic films that they put. And it worked in respecting unused elements of previous Batman and Superman scripts that we've seen throughout the years. So, so, Superman Lives had Doomsday in it. Like I said, uh... Batman v Superman had the cloning of Joker, but instead they turned it into the cloning, Lex doing the cloning and making Doomsday. There, so the whole Batman v Superman fight wasn't. Robin's death was actually in the Wolfgang Peterson 2002 script, but they had it Dick Grayson, which I thought was stupid. I that better be Jason Todd. So, so they had all these elements, and Zack Snyder put himself into it, put the comic book vision, and he did. A really hard task and he succeeded with it so yes the real fans uh, DC fan the real DC fan not the fucking poser bitches not the Marvel nobody cares what you Marvel cocksuckers your movies suck your movies DC is better than your movies you have awful shit taste but this movie worked for so many fans and so many stuff that the hate you see on the internet boards that they're, they're stupid people they're like Donald Trump supporters you ignore what they say because majority of what they say is meaningless they just talk loud but they're worthless and in the end run they don't matter look at 800 million accounting <laughs> loser haters didn't matter but yes there was uh, that's what i loved about this movie wb tradition dc comics tradition stuff from unused comics tradition and it worked it worked and Zack snyder kudos to you Zack uh deborah snyder wb it was a fucking awesome movie all haters are idiots. The majority loved it. And the majority of true DC fans love it. Go fuck yourself. This was the movie we've been waiting for. Could anything been all better? Possibly, but I don't give a fuck. It was great to me. It was great to me. And as a DC fan, as a comic book fan, I was looking at that movie with awe. And that was funny because um, uh, there was this girl sitting next to me. And I don't even know. If she, I don't know. Maybe she might not have been a comic book fan. And she was really sad. She was like, she was like Superman didn't die, did he? And then I told her, and the movie theater said, so next time, I'm like, no, no, he didn't die. He'll be back next year. She was like, good, because Superman can't die. And <laughs> Superman, he just can't. He just can't. So there were people that were not hardcore comic book fans that loved that movie, too. 
So it's not about. It's mostly the Marvelites and the stupid old knights that are bitching and moaning, but they're pretty much useless. Batman v Superman is a masterpiece. Fuck all haters. DC out.